In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic chart in Microsoft Excel. And it's very simple. Say, for example, I have an electronics store where I sell TVs, or I have an employee who sells TVs for me. And I created a table here that shows the employee's sales numbers for the last calendar year. So this employee sold 28 TVs in January, 27 in February, and so forth and so on. Now, for me to just look at this table, it's hard to tell if this employee is getting better at selling or worse at selling, um, just because it's a group of numbers, and obviously the human brain doesn't exactly work in, in that type of way. So Excel can create a chart, and all I have to do is click Insert, Chart, and it'll pop up a dialog box that asks what kind of chart I would like to make. And uh, that depends on the type of data that you're analyzing. In this case, I'm going to use the column chart, which seems to be the most common one. I'll hit Next. And it pops up a new window. And uh, this right here is a preview of what my chart will look like. Uh, here it says Data Range. It wants me to select the data that I want to be analyzed and it has highlighted in dotted lines the data that I want analyzed, which it uh, correctly assumed that I wanted to analyze that. And the chart looks pretty close to what I want it to look like, so I'll hit Next, and uh, the next dialog box asks for labels. So the chart title, I can put TV sales for 2008. The category x-axis, which is the horizontal axis, which is time, uh, which would be months, the y-axis, or the vertical axis, would be the number of TVs sold. I'll go ahead and hit Next. And now it asks, do I want to create a new sheet in my workbook? And I can name it, or I can just enter it as an object in the current spreadsheet, or in the current sheet that I have open, which I'll go ahead and do. And I will hit Finish. And here's a chart that I created and I can see that starting from the beginning of the year to the end of the year my employee has increased in sales steadily and uh, has improved therefore um, I, I guess I did well in training <laughs> this employee so that's how you create a basic chart you can alter a few things here and there and lots of different charts that you can create which I'll have other tutorials on um, thank you for viewing